So today, what we are going to learn, we are going to learn duplicate detection rule in Dynamics 365 CRM. Duplicate detection rules are used to identify them and manage duplicate records in Dynamics 365 CRM. These rules help maintain data integrity and ensure that each record in the system is unique. So we have two scenarios. In first scenario, we will give a warning message that mobile number is the same to another record. We want to ignore and save. And a second scenario is that we will, we don't allow the user to save the record and give an error that passport number is same. So the question may arrive why we need a duplicate detection rule in our system. So just like imagine uh, we have a contacts and if you want to save a contact with the mobile number, this and we click on save. Uh, the, as you can see this contact has been saved and now go to other uh, record and give the same mobile number and try to save it as you can see that it's also uh, getting saved with the same mobile number we don't want this in our system what we need we need to show a warning message to user that these two records having the same mobile number do you still want to save it or just want to cancel it and recheck the data so for that what we need we need to create a duplicate detection rule for that we go to advanced setting in advanced setting uh, click down round up arrow and go to the data management here we can see that duplicate detection rules is here and uh, there are some rules which are already gen uh, created by system and we could create our same rule here so for that we will click on new give it a name and then the base record type would be contact And matching record type would be uh, field should be mobile number. And then we click save and close. Not be same here. So now we will go back, uh, publish it. And now we will go to our record and give it a try. Change the number, save it. Same number if you want to try to save for other record. Let's see if we are getting a warning message or not. So yeah, as you can see that it's saying that duplicate record found South City and KL Rahul having the same mobile number. So this is the first kind of duplicate detection rule that we can create. And here the user is having a option to ignore and save or cancel it and recheck it. So I'm ignoring and save it, saving it. And now comes the second part. Just imagine we have uh, designed a model driven app for airport data and the contacts record. We want to save records of passengers who, uh, who do journey through our airport. So what we need, we need to have a unique passport number for each record. For that, just like uh, right now, what if you go to passport number and give it a passport number and uh, then save it and I just copy the same and go to other record and give the same passport number here so it can't cannot be just like KL Rahul and Rahul they cannot have the same passport number but, but now if a user want to save it it's letting us save so what we need we need to create uh, a duplicate detection rule that uh, user just cannot let this kind of da uh, data discrepancy happen so for that what we need we need to create a key uh, for that we will go to our solution and the solution we go to our contact table and then go to keys here we will create a new key and give it a name that's that passport number can't be seen and we will select the column as passport number check this and then save it after saving we need to check that status is active or not if it is active then we can check it we go to our uh, contact enti entity and give a hard refresh here. Now we will create a record with the passport number. This we have copy this passport number, save and close. And if you go to this Rajkumar record and this same passport number here, try to save it. Now, as you can see, it's giving us an error that our record has been attributed value password number already exists so it's not letting us save the record if you click on ok 
then still we cannot try to save it. We uh, use we cannot save it. So as the user give it. Uh, so that's it from our video. Hope you like it. Please like and subscribe.